All right, so uh, YouTuber Danimal has asked the question, how do I change the size of the door that Unreal gives us? So in the starter content, in my last video on the architecture, I kind of talk a little bit about how um, you can create a building, so you're going to want to watch that first probably. But let's say we look at uh, Unreal's door right there, and you're building you know, your own house, and you got a bunch of doors next to each other. Well, what if you want this door to be wider? Or, you know, obviously you could put a wall next to it. Um, how do you go about doing that if you want to change the size of this door? Or, for example, the window. If I have my uh, window here, let me replace it. Oops. How can I make this window bigger? And you're going to do that um, by exporting this file into a uh, area where you can find it and then making some changes in either Blender, 3D Studio Max, or Maya, or whatever else you use, and then bringing it back in. So let's do that right here to the window. Um, you could find the location of this. I think it might be, some, I'm just going to export it. It's easier for me. So I'm going to um, right click on it, go to asset actions and export. And I'll just call this wall window, put a two next to it because this is going to be my second one. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm still working off the original. So I'll save that. And that would be an FBX file. And then I'm going to go into Maya which is what I use, but use whatever. Import it, and wall window 300. Okay, so there it is. So if you want to change the size of this window, you could do so right in here if you wanted to grab these edges loops and adjust them, you could do that. You could also, what I, what I would do is rebuild this structure, because I'm not really sure what this is going to do. Um, Man, that's probably fine, actually. But let's say we want the window to be that big. Uh, what I probably am going to do is grab both sides just to keep it symmetrical. And use the scale tool to whoosh, do that. So now I'm going to have this nice big or, I don't know, long window. Um, if I wanted to go that way, I'd have to select these and squish it down. But let's just go with this. That's fine. So now, um, and if, if you want to, like, just really quickly, I'll show you how you could design your own to be the same size. I would start with the cube, and I would take these faces, and I would just, using the vertex snapping tool, I, I could just get these to snap to exactly where the other ones are, like that, and I would just do that to all, oops the faces until it was exactly in the same spot. You also just like actually want to put it physically in the same area as this one so that when you export it it's going to be everything's going to be identical. And then from there you can move that back, get rid of this one. Oh. Hang on. Okay, well, yeah, let's not worry about that. You don't care. Okay. So I'm going to export this file export selection and uh, we'll call this uh, so going to be wall window 2 or I could say like large 400 by 300 FBs. Um, when you export things if you include the smoothing groups um, do that I'm not going to talk about why right now but I just need to come in here and uh, there's our window we want it to replace it with the bigger one. So I just, I can go into my diamonds. And there's the new one. Nope, that's still the old one. Desktop, there it is. Wall, uh, large, I'll just drag that in here. And import it. And I can just uh, right click here and replace it. So that's the very quick and dirty way to uh if you want to just change what unreal has given you and make some modifications